In this video, let's practice finding limits of trigonometric functions. Here are a couple of problems. This is the first one. Limit x approaches 0 sin ax by bx. Pause the video, try this out. Ok, let's do this together. We want ax in the denominator. We want limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta. But we have bx. So let's switch this. We have limit x approaches 0 sin ax by ax. We have shifted b here and because we have added a here in the denominator, we will add a in the numerator to keep things the same. This becomes sin ax by ax. Now the limit should also match. We have x approaches 0. Now when x is approaching 0, any multiple of x will also approach 0. ax will also approach 0. So we can write this as limit ax approaches 0 sin ax by ax times a by b. Now we can bring this constant a by b out. We have limit theta approaches 0 sin theta by theta. This becomes 1. So the answer is a by b. Let's solve some more. Limit x approaches 0 sin ax by sin bx. In this case, we have sin in the numerator and sin in the denominator. How will we approach this? Pause the video, think about it. Okay, let's do this together. We need pairs. Here we have sin ax by ax. So we definitely need ax in the denominator. We can also have one bx in the numerator. That would make our life easier. Let's make that happen. Limit x approaches 0 sin ax by ax times bx by sin bx. And to keep things the same, we'll multiply by a by b. a cancels out, b cancels out, things remain the same. Okay, now let's spread the limit and get this constant out. We have a by b limit ax approaches 0 sin ax by ax times limit bx approaches 0 bx by sin bx. Whatever's inside the sign, we're changing the limit to that. Now this becomes 1 and this becomes 1 and our answer is a by b. So for both of these, the answer is a by b. Let's solve some more. Here's the next one. Limit x approaches pi sin pi minus x divided by pi times pi minus x. Pause the video. Try this out. Okay. So we can have some substitution here. Inside the sign, we have pi minus x. Let's treat that as a different variable. So pi minus x is y. This makes x equal to pi minus y. So wherever we see x, we'll replace it with pi minus y. Let's do that. x approaches pi. This means y approaches 0. So limit y approaches 0. Sine of pi minus x, that's y. Pi times pi minus x, that's pi times y. So this is what we get. Here 1 by pi is constant. We have limit theta approaches 0, sine theta by theta, that's equal to 1. So what this is saying is, this is 1 by pi times 1. So this is 1 by pi. Next one, limit x approaches pi by 2, tan 2x by x minus pi by 2. What should we substitute here? Think about it. So in case of tan and sine, the angle is approaching 0. So we can look at the limit for clues x is approaching pi by 2, x minus pi by 2 or pi by 2 minus x, this is approaching 0. So we can take this as a new variable. Let's take pi by 2 minus x as the new variable. This is equal to y. This makes x is equal to pi by 2 minus y. Let's substitute. This makes limit y approaches 0, tan 2 times. x is pi by 2 minus y. So this is tan 2 times pi by 2 minus y. Denominator is x minus pi by 2. This becomes pi by 2 minus y minus pi by 2. In the denominator, we have pi by 2 getting cancelled. So what we have is limit y approaches 0, tan 2 times pi by 2, that's pi minus 2y. So tan pi minus 2y divided by minus y. And we can use an identity, tan pi minus theta is minus tan theta. So this becomes limit y approaches 0 minus tan 2y by minus y. Cancelling the negative sign, we have limit y approaches 0, tan 2y by y. Now we need the variables to be same, so let's make that happen. Limit y approaches 0, tan 2y by 2y, multiplying this by 2. And this should also match. Limit 2y approaches 0, because when y is approaching 0, double of it is also approaching 0. So limit 2y approaches 0, tan 2y by 2y, times 2. This 2 is constant, this becomes 1, so the answer is 1 times 2, that's 2. 
Next one. Limit x approaches 0 sin ax plus bx divided by ax plus sin bx. Here a, b and a plus b all are not equal to 0, which means we can divide by a, b or a plus b. Pause the video, try this out. Okay. So wherever we see sine, we need the angle that's inside it in the denominator. Let's make that happen. Sine ax by ax times ax plus bx. And in the denominator, we have ax plus sine bx by bx times bx. And spreading the limit, we have limit in the numerator and limit in the denominator. And we can then spread it further. We can have limit with each of these. So this part becomes one limit x approaches zero sine ax by ax. This part also becomes one limit x approaches zero sine bx by bx. In the numerator, we'll have ax plus bx. And in the denominator, we'll have ax plus bx. So both of them will be the same. So this is what we'll get. Limit x approaches zero in the numerator ax plus bx and limit x approaches zero ax plus bx. So the answer looks like it's one, but let's not miss the steps. a plus b, that's common limit x approaches 0x by limit x approaches 0x. Now we can merge the limit. This is limit x approaches 0, x by x, that's 1. So the answer is 1 times 1, that's 1. Now this next one has cos in it. Limit x approaches 0, cos of x by pi minus x. What will we do here? But before we try thinking about substitutions, try putting x equals to 0 and see if this is a problem cos of 0 is 1, pi minus 0 is pi. The denominator is not 0. This is pretty well defined. So we can just substitute x as 0. This is cos of 0 by pi minus 0. Cos 0 is 1, pi minus 0 is pi. The answer is 1 by pi. This is solved. Next one, very similar. Limit x approaches 0, x times secant x. Try substituting. x is 0, secant of 0 is 1. So this is zero times one, which is zero. If zero was in the denominator, we would have had a problem. But since this is in the numerator, we don't have a problem and the answer is zero. Another one, limit x approaches zero, cosec x minus cot x. Now the way I like to think about this is, I bring out sines and cos. I simplify these two. You can try your own method. Pause the video. Give this a shot. Okay. So let's do this together. Limit x approaches 0, cosec is 1 by sine minus cot is cos by sine. Take sine common. We have 1 minus cos by sine. Now apply trigonometric identities. We have 1 minus cos 2 theta, that's 2 sine square theta. And we have sine 2 theta, that's 2 sine theta cos theta. So this will become limit x approaches 0, 2 sine square x by 2 because we started with x. So the angle becomes half of it, x by 2. And the denominator is sine x. This becomes 2 sine x by 2 cos x by 2. Is there something that gets cancelled? Yes, 2 gets cancelled and sine x by 2 gets cancelled. So this becomes limit x approaches 0 sine by cos. That's tan x by 2. The denominator is clean. That's 1. Let's put x as 0. We get tan of 0. The answer is 0. 